Have you ever pondered the possibility of a black hole devouring our entire universe? A black hole is a cosmic enigma, a mysterious entity that lurks in the distant reaches of our universe. These celestial oddities are formed from the remnants of massive stars. When such a star has exhausted the nuclear fuel, it collapses under its own gravitational force, creating a singularity, a point in space where density becomes infinite and our understanding of physics breaks down. That's right, a black hole is born from the death of a star, a stellar phoenix rising from its own ashes, you might say. But this isn't just a simple rebirth. It's a transformation into something much more inscrutable and far more powerful. Now let's talk about gravity. Normally we think of it as the force that keeps our feet on the ground. But in the context of a black hole, gravity takes on a whole new meaning. It becomes a cosmic dragnet, pulling everything, even light itself, into a seemingly bottomless pit from which there is no escape. Now, imagine a black hole with a hunger so insatiable, it devours everything in its path including our universe. Black holes, these enigmatic celestial objects, have long captured our fascination and fear. Their gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their clutches. But could one of these cosmic monstrosities really consume our entire universe? To answer that, we should first consider the current theories about the fate of our universe. One such theory is the heat death scenario. This concept suggests that over trillions of years, the universe will gradually cool and dilute, eventually reaching a state of maximum entropy, where all matter and energy are evenly dispersed. In this scenario, the universe doesn't end with a bang, but rather a slow, inexorable fade into darkness. Another theory, known as the Big Crunch, postulates that the universe's expansion could reverse, causing everything to contract back into a single point, a mirror image of the Big Bang. In this scenario, black holes would play a significant role, merging and growing as the universe contracts. But even then, they are not devouring everything, merely acting as cosmic recycling centers. It's crucial to dispel the myth that black holes are cosmic vacuum cleaners indiscriminately sucking up everything in their path. The reality is far less dramatic. Dramatic. Black holes only consume what comes within their event horizon, the point of no return. A black hole would need to be incredibly close to us to pose any threat. And even then, it would only affect our local group of galaxies, not the entire universe. Furthermore, the universe is vast and ever-expanding. Even if a supermassive black hole were to start consuming matter at an unprecedented rate, it would still take an unimaginable amount of time to pose a threat to the universe at large. So, while it's an intriguing concept, the reality is that our universe is more likely to fade away than be consumed by a black hole. Opening? What then is the fate of these cosmic monsters known as black holes? Well, for a long time, black holes were considered the ultimate endpoint of matter. They sucked everything in and nothing came out, but as is often the case with science, the story took an unexpected twist. Enter the brilliant physicist Stephen Hawking. In the 70s, Hawking proposed a revolutionary idea that challenged the traditional concept of black holes. He suggested that black holes could, in fact, emit something, a phenomenon now known as Hawking radiation. This theoretical prediction suggested that black holes are not eternal and could eventually evaporate. But what does this evaporation really mean? Imagine a black hole as a giant cosmic pot of boiling water. Over time, as it emits Hawking radiation, it's losing energy, just like the pot loses heat. Bit by bit, it's shrinking, losing mass, until eventually it might just disappear, leaving behind only a puff of radiation. However, there's a catch. This process would take an unimaginable amount of time, far longer than the current age of the universe. For a typical black hole, we're talking about a timescale greater than a Google years. That's a one followed by a hundred zeros, in case you're wondering. So, while black holes might not be forever, they're sticking around for a good long while. As we move forward in our understanding of the universe, the future of black holes remains a fascinating subject of study. Even as they slowly evaporate, they continue to shape the cosmos around them, playing a key role in the life cycle of galaxies and stars. Closing. In the grand cosmic scheme, black holes are both fascinating and terrifying. 
but not something we need to fear. Their slow dance with the universe will continue long after the last stars have faded from the sky. So, could a black hole devour our universe? The short answer is, probably not. Black holes are celestial phenomena that have intrigued and baffled scientists for decades. They are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their grasp. This intense gravitational pull is the result of a star collapsing under its own weight after it has exhausted all its nuclear fuel. The star implodes, creating a point in space where density is infinite and space and time cease to exist as we know them. This point is known as a singularity. Now, to visualize a black hole, imagine the fabric of space as a rubber sheet. When a heavy object, say a bowling ball, is placed on the sheet, it causes a depression or a curve in the sheet. This is a simplified model of how gravity works, according to Einstein's general theory of relativity. Now, a black hole is like a bowling ball so heavy and dense that it tears through the rubber sheet, creating an abyss from which nothing can escape. But don't be fooled by the name. Black holes are anything but empty space. They are packed with a huge amount of matter crammed into an incredibly small area. The edge of this region, known as the event horizon, acts as the point of no return. Once something crosses the event horizon, it's pulled inexorably towards the singularity and is lost forever. But despite their ominous reputation, black holes are not cosmic vacuum cleaners endlessly sucking in space. Objects need to come fairly close to a black hole to be captured. For instance, if the Sun were to suddenly turn into a black hole, Earth would continue to orbit as before, albeit in darkness. Black holes are a testament to the power and mystery of the universe, a force of nature that defies our understanding of physics and reality. They are not just points in space, but are key to our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Now that we've grasped what black holes are, we can start unravelling our main query. Black holes, though invisible, have a tremendous impact on their surroundings, but how do they work? Let's get into the nitty-gritty. To put it simply, black holes are regions of space where gravity pulls so much that nothing, not even light, can escape. They are essentially the ultimate cosmic quicksand, sucking in everything that ventures too close. The core mechanism that makes a black hole work is its gravitational pull. You see, every object in the universe, from the smallest particle to the largest galaxy, exerts a gravitational pull. This pull is proportional to the mass of the object. The heavier the object, the stronger the pull. A black hole is extremely heavy. It contains a lot of mass squeezed into a very small space. This makes its gravitational pull incredibly strong. So strong that anything close enough, even light, can't escape. Hence the name black hole. It's a region of space where light cannot escape, making it appear black. Now if you're wondering what happens when something gets sucked into a black hole, let's talk about the event horizon. The event horizon is the point of no return around a black hole. Once something crosses this threshold, it's game over. It's irretrievably lost to the black hole. The gravitational pull is so strong that it warps time and space, stretching things out in what scientists call spaghettification. Even as something approaches the event horizon, it slows down from our perspective. If we could watch something fall into a black hole, it would appear to slow down and eventually freeze, just at the edge of the event horizon, due to an effect called time dilation. Now, despite their destructive nature, black holes also play a crucial role in the universe. They help regulate the growth of galaxies and might be integral to the formation of galaxies in the first place. Understanding how black holes function brings us one step closer to answering our main question. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the universe's most mysterious and fascinating phenomena. Now let's bring our universe into the equation. How do black holes interact with it? Black holes indeed play a significant role in the grand cosmic ballet that is our universe. They are not just cosmic vacuum cleaners sucking up everything in their path. Rather, they are key players in the formation of galaxies. Picture a universe without black holes. It may look vastly different, perhaps almost unrecognizable. 
These mysterious entities also stir up space-time, creating what are known as gravitational waves. These ripples in the fabric of space-time are caused by some of the most violent and energetic processes in the universe, such as the collision of black holes. They give us a new way to observe the cosmos, providing clues about the nature of gravity that could potentially lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe. With this knowledge, we are ready to tackle our main question. So, could a black hole with its immense gravitational pull swallow up our universe? It's an idea that sends chills down the spine, and it's not entirely without foundation. Black holes, with their monstrous gravity, have the ability to devour anything that gets too close, including light itself. But could one really consume the entirety of our universe? To answer that, let's first consider the size of our universe. It's estimated to be around 93 billion light years in diameter. That's a distance so vast that it defies comprehension. Now, the largest black holes, known as supermassive black holes, can be billions of times the mass of our sun. Yet even these cosmic behemoths are minuscule compared to the size of the universe. So, if we're talking about a single black hole consuming the universe, it would have to be a black hole of unprecedented, unfathomable size. The laws of physics, as we understand them, don't allow for such an entity. Moreover, the universe is not a static entity. It's expanding. You can think of it like a balloon being blown up. The galaxies are not moving through space, but the space itself is stretching. This means that even if there was a black hole large enough to swallow the universe, the universe is getting bigger and moving away faster than the black hole could consume it. And then there's the nature of black holes themselves. Contrary to popular belief, black holes are not cosmic vacuum cleaners. They don't go around swallowing everything in sight. Things have to come pretty close to a black hole to be pulled in. So while black holes are certainly fascinating and somewhat terrifying objects, the idea of one swallowing up our entire universe seems more the realm of science fiction than science fact. While the idea is intriguing, current understanding suggests that a black hole swallowing our universe is highly unlikely. However, black holes remain largely mysterious, and there's much we still don't know. Their enigma is heightened by the singularity, a point in the center where gravity is so intense that space and time become infinitely distorted. This is where the laws of physics as we know them cease to apply. It's like trying to see beyond the horizon of our understanding. Then there's the information paradox, a quandary that has left scientists scratching their heads. When matter enters a black hole, it seems to disappear entirely, seemingly violating the laws of quantum mechanics which state that information cannot be destroyed. Could there be a way for this information to escape? Some theorists propose that it might leak out through something called Hawking radiation, a theoretical prediction made by the late physicist Stephen Hawking. As we uncover more about black holes, we may yet find surprising answers to our questions. Black holes, these enigmatic entities, continue to captivate and confound us. We've journeyed through the cosmos, exploring the nature and mechanics of these celestial beasts. We've grappled with their paradoxical existence, their gravitational pull that is so strong, not even light can escape. We've delved into their impact on our universe and pondered the unsettling question, could a black hole swallow our universe? We've seen that while black holes are powerful, they are not all-consuming monsters waiting to devour every galaxy in their path. They are in fact an integral part of the cosmic ballet, influencing the formation and evolution of galaxies. The unknowns of black holes remain vast, their mysteries veiled in the darkness they themselves create. But every question we ask, every theory we propose, takes us one step closer to understanding these fascinating phenomena. While it's unlikely a black hole could swallow our universe, the exploration of these cosmic mysteries remains an exciting frontier of science.